It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right, so sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it, and right now you got it too. Enjoy another outstanding audio clip from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction. And on the line with us today, we have Dr. William J. Ruck. We'll be discussing his book, The Level Pelvis Method for Pregnancy and Birthing Ease. And that's going to be available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or if you guys want to get everything that Dr. Ruck has to offer, do yourself a favor. Don't stop at Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Of course, both great resources to utilize to purchase the book. But go directly to his personal website, thelevelpelvismethod.com, to find more information on the book, more information on Dr. Ruck himself, as well as be able to purchase the book from this site so one last time that's the level pelvis method.com and i will say william was brought to people of distinction today by some of the best movers in the business ingress advertising publishing if you have a book that you'd like moved move it through ingress you can find them at ingress advertising.com and guys it is such a delight to have William here on the line with us because really it's going to be a fun-filled education that we're all going to receive, myself included, by having him here with us today. So without further ado, we have Dr. Ruck here on the line with us. Talk to our listening audience. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was uh, a number of years ago uh, in construction. 40 years ago, I was a carpenter, and then I ended up being a superintendent of construction for a residential remodeling firm. And uh, I... I got injured, and my chiropractor at that time uh, said, do you, you know, have, have, why don't you think about becoming a chiropractor? So mm -hmm. uh, I did. I didn't have any idea at the time, but I do now, that my time in construction was my apprenticeship to this because now I still am in a form of residential remodeling. I remodel people's bodies. I change the shape of people's pelvises <laughs> and so they can walk, and, and this is really critical to to that, I started my career in chiropractic uh, as, in, a, as pri in private practice in 1987. But at the same time, I also started teaching at the chiropractic college in Hayward. And one of my classrooms is the anatomy lab, and I started to do a, a series of dissection studies on the human spine and X-ray them. And I noticed that at least half or more of the female cadavers had gynecological pathology that the ovaries and uterus would be adhesed to one hip flexor, psoas muscle, so called, and everything was shifted off to one side. And I thought, this is this is not this can't be right. But in 1992, I, my wife was in a car accident, and she happened to be just five years post cancer surgery for cervical cancer. Wow. So she has a semi annual appointment to have her checked for cancer. She's a little bit more than five years post cancer surgery, so she's been cancer free up to that much time. But the accident occurred two days before her already scheduled appointment. So I went in with her. And those folks that are listening, if you've had a spouse with cancer, you end up going in with them and knowing the staff. And so the doctor and I are on a first-name basis. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'd like to do an experiment here where you do an evaluation of Diane's pelvic girdle for, and then let me adjust her, and then I want you to tell me if there's anything that changes. And she goes, you know, I'll do that, but I was taught in medical school these bones don't move. So I know, but I know that's not right, she said, because I've, I've had babies and I've had my, my pelvis adjust my chiropractor, so I feel my, my bones have shifted. So I show her how the bones on Diana are really misaligned, the right side, because the foot on the brake, the milk impact could really have damage to the right sacroiliac joint, pubic symphysis. And I showed her this. It was all real tight and rigid, and she says that she can see this, and she gloves up and goes in there, and Diane just arcs her back off the table. Terrible pain. And later, when we talked about how often we figured at least 45 pelvic examinations between the two of them as a doctor-patient mm -hmm. over the almost seven years that they've been in a doctor-patient relationship, and this was a new finding. It was never painful before. And the doctor says, I can't get to the right ovary. The uterus is in the way. The uterus is way over the right side. This feels completely asymmetrical in here. Diane, it's just, she's arcing her back. She's in, she's in a lot of pain. And she says, I, doctor says, I can easily get to the left ovary. I can't get to the right one. And so she does the pap smear, and then I adjust her, level her pelvis, 
And the doc goes, and then goes, oh, my God, this feels completely different now. And then Diane goes, it doesn't even hurt now. The doc says, I can easily get to the right ovary. This feels completely symmetrical in, this, in here now. Could this be the source of all this undiagnosed pelvic pain I encounter in so many of my patients? So the marriage ends in 94, and I don't see her for 15 years. And I encounter her at a family event in 2007, and I say, can I ask you a personal question? And she says, yeah. I said, how's your gynecological health? And she goes, I'm scheduled for my hysterectomy next Tuesday morning. And I said, do you think the accident in 92 is related to the need for hysterectomy 15 and a half years later? She goes, absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind. Now, searching the literature, I can't find anything about how trauma to the pelvis leads to gynecological pathology. Nothing. Nothing. In fact, in the orthopedic textbooks, the pelvic girl is, is considered a rigid structure, and it's called the rigid pelvic theory in some of the textbooks. So the idea that there's misalignment causing any kind of distress pattern, including severe back pain, most debilitating condition in the country as far as being, being disabled with severe pain is chronic low back pain with the antalgia. You can't stand up straight. You can't lift your legs properly, and you have altered gait. I put people's pelvises back in place, and it's... It changes their posture immediately. It's Al Cole from CBS Radio, host of the syndicated talk show, People of Distinction, cluing you in that in our 21st century, I'll tell you, products and services are sold through video. <laughs> That's right, so sell it through video at Al Cole Enterprises and SAG 14 Production Company. You got it and look forward to enjoying other outstanding audio clips from our international guest list featuring my son, the fantastic Benji Cole on People of Distinction.